Hello, McWarriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tag, where I'm actually going for another build today. We're gonna make it very, very quick, and then I'm gonna bring it to the battlefield instantly. The mech that I'm talking about is my melee mech. It's Dr. Pinchy. It is not really seeing the light of day too often right now, and that's because the build is lacking. But now that we got money and we have the items, I'm gonna actually bring it to the battlefield. What we are lacking is an engine. I know, it's kind of weird, right? We have articulated jump jets right now, but I don't think the, the seven ton investment is good. We get plus one defense against being hit and 10% walk distance, but it's not good. It's not good. We're gonna drop it and we're gonna drop it in favor for a pirate engine. Yes, the pirate engine is quite interesting. When active, it gets you a 40% run multiplier and 50% extra jump distance. And that's great. It also generates 20% or no, not percent, but 20 heat when active. As a fail chance, you get crits if you do it and it also lowers your weight a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is, um, I mean, we can like run like crazy with the pirate engine and the supercharger and the hard seat cockpit. We are really fast now. I kind of also wanna benefit from the 50% jump distance, but we are lacking in another assault jump jet. We have, we are only have leg jump jets, but you can mix and match them. Interesting. Interesting. That is cool as hell. I like that. Very, very good. So. Um, yeah, what are we doing with the weight that we have? I feel like, I feel like I wanna get a, a support weapon, like a missile weapon on the mech. I could go energy, but actually I wanna drop these energy weapons because we don't ever wanna get hot because the hotter we are, the slower we get. That means we, we need to really balance our heat. And I would say a missile weapon might be a good middle ground. The other option would be um, an auto cannon on the arm. But we already have a laser rifle here, and you can only shoot either the handheld or the hardpoint weapon, so I feel like we're gonna keep this around and we are fine. Okay. It's kind of crazy that you can mix and match jump jets now. It's, it's weird. But I'll take it. I'll take it. Don't get me wrong. I'll take it. Uh, anyway. Um, weapons. We have some. And the weapons that we got here... Um, I really want to get an IATM on the battlefield. It is a wonderful weapon. It's not really for damage, necessarily but more for um, just, a, you know, just having a tool on the battlefield, something that I can always shoot to, I don't know, trigger enemies AMS, to finish off the job when we just need a little bit of extra damage. And more importantly, we have EMP ammo. And that EMP ammo, it doesn't really deal damage, but the enemies suffer a penalty to movement and accuracy and heat management stacks up to six times. So half of the missiles need to hit and we got it all on the enemy. Uh, and it's for two turns, so we can keep shooting them and they will do not a lot anymore. So we're gonna keep that or take that, a bin of regular ammo, and then um, we need to take care of our heat management. Because when we take a look at that, our hot seat cockpit will generate 30 heat when active. Our pirate engine will generate 20 heat when active, so that's 50. Uh, you don't do anything right now, right? No, you don't generate heat. So we have 50 base heat just because of our because of being there and then there's also a void system that generates another 10 heat so 60 heat is where we want to be and then some you know so therefore the last <laughs> the last of this is gonna be do we drop optics i don't know i don't know if we want to drop optics i feel like night vision is good for our overall accuracy I was thinking about putting an exchanger in the mech or a heat bank or something. But let's start with just good old regular, regular double heat sinks. How many can we slap on the mech? Let's say, oh, that's it. We are running out of slots. Ah, that's 62 heat. It's just enough, I guess. It's just enough. We have a cooling jacket. Now we are at 64. That helps us getting the delta up by two. Ah. Weapon mount heat. There's nothing on the arm that would benefit from it. Also, we want to have our actuators. I guess that's how we run this. All right. I, I think this has to be it. So we are like super fast now. We could put. Wait, we could. We could totally put an engine heat sink in the mag. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What am I clicking here? There's the thing I want to be. Uh, no emergency coolant system of the appropriate size, unless we drop these 
Get the plus four in there. Now we are turn over. I think this would be good though. I mean, when saying a ton, I mean like this. Drop a bit of back armor. A little bit. Okay, 190 on the legs. This is what I'm gonna settle on. So, that's it. So now we are exactly one turn over. Uh, I don't see anything that I wanna drop though. Not really. Not really. I wish we had him. Maybe we don't need the emergency one. Maybe it's fine if we just go engine heatsink plus three and we're fine. Still good, right? 68. I mean, come on. It's one off 69. Should be fine. Okay, we have ammo, we have a missile weapon, we have three million C, almost four to invest. Ah, another thing I wanted to check. Our laser rifle here is a thing that we cannot just fire for 40 damage at a decent range. However, could I take the plasma rifle? Ah, uh, no, it just doesn't fit. Okay, could I take the mech lance? I could. So with the amount of speed that we generate, the mech lance could be a thing that we actually want here. Okay, it's a thing that we cannot shoot in range, or at range. But hey, we figure it out, guys, as we go. This is gonna be Dr. Pinchy, and it takes six days to build that guy. I will totally wait for that, because I want to bring this thing to life. Uh, deliver the weapons to the Argo. Sure. Let's get three medium lasers, and we lose reputation with the pirates. I don't really care about that. Hooray lasers. I don't care about the lasers either, but it's okay. So, here's the pinch. The vulture is a day away. There we go, Jamie is a day away. Okay, guys, we have two new builds to test today. Let's go ahead and test them. Uh, there's a duel, but we will play that later. It's another beautiful blackout. The lowlands. Massive salvage. We could also try to get some good salvage. I'll do it. I'll take two. Money-wise, we need to take care of our money again. But hey, let's drop on the battlefield and actually bring Dr. Pinchy. So here's the King Crab. There it is. Who's the pilot for it right now? Neuron. Ah, before we go, I'm gonna quickly go back. I need to make sure that Neuron is in his best possible state. Let's see if we can unlock some more of these beautiful skill points of him. Ether can certainly do that. It's great. Anybody else missing some? Finan is done already. Gremlin? Sure. Give Gremlin a little bit more piloting. It's okay. Hero is fine. Jamie. Jamie needs to train, man. I like that burning chaos. One heat per shot is gonna be really good. He needs to be the, the massive missile burst guy with just lots of heat damage. 15% extra heat damage. Yeah, I can see Hydra and incendiary weapons on him. Seems good. Uh, it's not it's besides the point right now. We don't care about him right now. We want to train him in the simulators and max him out before we bring him to the battlefield. Uh, where is Neuron? Neuron can get piloting, as he should. Beautiful. We need to reliably hit our things, so we go with that. Um, And that's it. I mean, Popo, let's go. I mean, Popo, let's go. Holy crap. Haven't taken a look at him in a while. Holy macaroni. All right, guys, I'm ready. I hope you are too. So as I was saying, we go for the four and a half skull battle in the jungle, two out of nine. And we're going to have a good time there. That's going to be my alpha squad, which is good. I think I'm going to keep him as they are. Um, I want to one quickly want to check one thing, though. Oh, Does not have neural implants. The Rack Lobster just got refit. Do we benefit from the VR part? Huh. Allows moving after shooting if the pilot has neural implants and the VR part needs enhanced imaging, but not necessarily the implants. Ooh, that's good. That's really good. I'm very excited to see the Rock Lobster in action. Okay, cool. So, Pinchy, here we go. Get our dedicated melee guy in here. And we have some open slots. Means 
I am. I am going to take my archer, actually. Get hero in here. Again, finally. Then... We still have tonnage, and I will totally use every single thing of it. Um, dire wolf, I guess. Oh, that's a vehicle slot. Never mind. Ifrit, I guess. Let's get gremlin in there. Get some more vehicles open. I feel like I want a long term on the battlefield today. Let's do it. Can we get more? What about the alacorn? Seven hundred and twenty tons. That doesn't fit anymore. Okay, so nothing fits anymore, except for the Sea Riders, which I don't want. It's risky. I could take him and use him as a training vehicle for Jamie. Just keep him out of harm's way. Not let him die. It'd be fine. This is the best squad that we can muster. Give me a second. Sea Riders. Oh, wait, I can. No, I cannot. Never mind. I think this is it. Let's go. All right, guys, this is gonna be very, very interesting. Let's see how many enemies we can squash with our claws. All right, it's one of those missions um, where we probably struggle getting into position because of hindering environment. Lots of foliage here, lots of rough terrain there. But I feel like this is our best angle. So we have cover early on. We have, like, total, total cover. Line of sight is broken. I'm gonna start right here. And then we're gonna make our way over there. Support lands coming in. They also have reinforcements. I'm pretty sure about that. So we fight three lances. There was stuff here. For a second, I could see it. All right. I see Mola. I see Kraken. Ooh, nice. Jagamek. That thing needs to go quickly. Why are you running there? PPCs and auto cannon twos, huh? All right. Nice. And there's a Griffin. So far, so good. Standing by. Let's go ahead and bring the battle armor in. Uh, again, I won't bring Jamie because uh, this guy is important to me. I want him. I want him on the battlefield for a long time. So putting him in the little guys is a death sentence if I put him on the front line as well. All right. How can I help? Uh, this is my good Jamie. Good Jamie goes um here. Take him to the air. The Daisy Cutter guy. All right. Griffin, very what good. Can I do for you? Timber Wolf. Also very good. I'm gonna jump into cover. I think this is worth a bit more. Then one more evasion. 20% damage reduction. What is, is it already? Kind of important. Okay. Um. Uh, wait. We can we can convert. And we can jump. And we are fast. Okay. Let's get the hell away from this. Zip. Let's roll. Let's roll. All right. We're out of here. Uh, that's it. Good. Turn 22. It's the Jagamek. Should be an easy target for me, to be honest. Andrew. Seth Stealth Bomber. Go and do the bombing thing. And we want to build a solidified front against all of these guys What's there. Up, boss? Archer. Move and brace in cover. Moving to position. Brace it up. Right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ifrit is also in the house. God, we have everybody here today. That's pretty cool. So, AMS is doing things. Beautiful. Here comes the Shieldron. Alright. Good to go. So, this is Rock Lobster. Rock Lobster can jump now. Oh my god, this is so good. Just getting into position with this guy. No problem, boss. I got this. So beautiful. Okay. Imaging on. Receiving you. Vulture. Move and brace and cover. Aye, aye. Everybody covered by AMS. Dr. Pinchy is pretty slow, man. to be honest. So, so this would be our sprint movement that we get normally. I'm just gonna show you guys for a second. If I turn any everything on, absolutely everything. Still calculating. Huh? So that's it. This is through rough terrain and everything. This is our mobility with the king crab. I'm not gonna use it yet. We want to first get into a good position and our jump distance is also fantastic If we put the engine on It's even fantastic -er -er. Do I do this? God, I hope that we don't get a fail chance next round. Let's get there All right, I don't like it too much, but let's see might be good enough 
Kraken. Not the Kraken. How do you say that even? There is a mech called Kraken with a CK. I don't know. Ready for orders. Okay, and then we got a long term who just wants to move and Roger. wants to ping. First round ping is so good, man. I love it. It's the Marla. Could have waited for the Marla to make his turn happen. Ooh, that's a nasty one. Okay, so he also came closer. That means that Dr. Pinchy could just attack that guy. Problem is initiative. We need more tactics on this dude. But we also need more piloting, and I think piloting is key first. So that we minimize our fail chance on our activatables. Very important. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So far, so good. The cool thing about the mech lands, by the way, it deals more damage the further we move. And we move a lot with this. Receiving you. Okay. Uh, this is the, the Devastator Squad. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Mauler. Let's do it. We have a very good hit chance on this guy. Might as well. And we need we need to streamline this. We have too many different weapon types here. Can we go for the Jäger as well? Yeah, but with a bad hit chance. I mean, Jäger has lower armor, so it equates to kind of the same outcome, relatively speaking. That's a headshot. All right, I'll take it. 23. What is 23? 22 is the Jäger, man. 23 is the Griffin. The funny thing here is that it doesn't seem that the enemies have reinforcements, or I am blind. Maybe I just don't see them, even on my pretty good radar. And I feel like there was something in this area, but it might have also been just the chevrons floating up to the initiative tracker there. Okay. Jäger mech. Do your thing. They hate my Ifrit. I'm gonna pull it back instantly. That ripped up a bunch this of Ifrit is not crucial to winning the fight. Might as well get it out of harm's way. Uh, can I... Still do this. Alright. Affirmative. So, Kraken, you're running Pirate Rock 2s? Oh, I should not. I should have gone further away. Huh. Alright. So, shape charge, indirect. I could shoot directly, and I want to go Inferno on this guy. Confirm. Because I wouldn't kill, but I might keep him at bay. Yes. For a while. Run. On my way, Commander. Also, scout. So, there's nothing on this side. Yeah, I think we're fine. Cool. Turn 19. Dudes, I really have the feeling that we have to take the Kraken down first. I've got your back. And fall. Oh, or this guy as well. Ooh. Ah, hmm. Okay. So where's my beautiful side attack? Do we go for the Kraken? Hmm. Ah, this is difficult. You know what? Accelerating to maximum speed. Uh, first of all, I, I screwed up the daisy cutter range. Not cool. But let's go. See what we can do with this. There's a headshot, two headshots. Can we overheat that guy? I mean, that's good enough. What's up, huh? For the moment. It's pretty solid. Yeah, we want to drop him down to the ground before it can shoot his pirate rocks against my Ifrit. So I'm gonna drop everything we got. Um, let's go guided bombs. Criticals on the rotaries blow up. They're volatile. I mean, we have the knockdown. That's something. His initiative is going down as a result. 15 now. Beautiful. Good. I hear you. Ether. Ether and his ATMs. If I jumped... Could get a bit closer... Man, let's go over here. It's a good spot to be in. Right, uh, fire. Not enough. Oh boy. Oh boy. Orders. Got some LRMs for the Mauler. If I can get line of sight. Which is not possible currently. Ah. 
Okay, so what's my hit chance? It's bad. Well then, I guess it's the king crab that we are attacking. Fire. Acknowledge. And he will blow up. I don't think he's gonna survive that. Uh -huh. Pretty Let's good. Okay, so this thing is down. The Marla could still hit our flyer. Let's see what he's doing. Turn 18 is gonna be now. We gave him enough targets to choose from, though. Running. That's very acceptable. I'll take it. Good. So, still have a unit or two. Standing by. We got some special units that I'm very excited to play around with here. What's in the back line? Griffin, Marauder, with Plasma. Okay. Thunderbolt. It's nothing to be afraid of, really. No. None of this is. So, shredding the Mauler. That's what we do. Next big target would be the Jäger mech. Okay, something broke, that's good. Take that. And a punch out. I mean, that is good because the Mola is running an XL question mark? I'm not sure. I actually am not sure. Cool. Reporting. So, Major yeah. armor loss. Major armor can't loss. Take much more of this. It's the uh, it's the best trend okay, of general direction. Bad. Losing armor. Okay, Rock Lobster, here it comes. Uh, by the way, I'm cannibalizing my own melee targets. <laughs> Not much armor left yeah. in that location. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, let's go ahead and attack. I mean, again, the Jäger mech makes the most sense, but I can also hit the shield run. Okay, let's go with that. Six shots, six shots. Incendiary deals a bit more damage. He's taking it like a boss. So, 2% chance on the pirate engine. If I ex... Uh, what happens when I, when I get a fail? Will it be a crit or will it be just blow up? I could reach the Jäger mech. Only with a charge, probably, but still. It's insane. Yeah, it's just a charge. I, mean, I could charge in like that jump this round and then charge next round without the, the the engine yeah that's that's it okay two percent guys what could possibly go wrong Acknowledge. we will see uh shoot shieldron shoot the jaeger we go for the jaeger uh whatever it doesn't really matter too much I think I want to shoot indirectly, not in streak mode, because if I don't lock onto him, no missile will fire, and I want to fire a missile. Roger that. I want to get some damage out against that guy. All right, so here comes Ready the fun thing. We have a long term. Again, the Jägermech is a fantastic target, but I want to hit all of this there. So, line of sight, where are you? The answer is you're not here. Oh, my friend. Let's move. Why would you abandon me? Okay, we shoot high explosives artillery. No, we shoot infernos. Fire. Bam. Good hit. Everything's burning. Good time. Good. Standing by. Should we get in there? Ah, come on, let's be real. Right. We want to take oh, targets down that matter, and that Jäger make matters. We have to do it. We have to go for him. Yay, look at that. Cool. 25! Archer! No. Double time. Let's totally gonna go. do that, but I'm go mm, I think I'm gonna go like sensor lock on a stealth guy. Like the Marauder. Yep. Sensors, lock All right. on. Ooh, we even shaved away evasion. Could attack the Griffin. I don't think it's gonna be a kill though. Let's go for the Jaeger. He's also quite fast. I will make an offensive push happen, so that he's not that fast. This guy, please, thank you. Uh, and fire. Firing on target. Unsteady, turn 18, way better than before. 
So, now the smaller guys are coming in, the griffins. We're safe! Protected. Good. It's generating lots of heat because of the inferno, um, long-term shell, everything's exploding. And the thing is, the heat lingers for a bunch of turns. It's a cool thing. And also, they're in fire. Good. Very, very nice. Generating quite a lot of. What do you heat. want? Eh. Scoot around. Let's roll. You take the scenic route. It's fine. I want you to stay safe. Okay. The time will come for Dr. Pinchy to do a thing. Alright, we got hit a bit. Damage yeah, we need more targets on the front line. Oh, what I also want help. is this. Oh, let's do it. You are hittable, you say, right? Uh, yeah, let's get there. See what we can do. It's a 40% chance to hit the daisy cutter. It's not the greatest, I know. Let's shoot some damage into him. Roger that. Oh. Oh, we're cutting daisies, baby. We are cutting daisies. It was slightly deviated, but we hit the back, like here was the impact. So most of the damage splashed to his back, which is fine. Cool. Shitron, here comes the thumper. It's it's not a thumper, it's a long torm even. Ooh. Yeah. That actually that that hurts. That was a heavy hit, Commander. Yeah, we're getting lots of heat on this here. Uh, getting pretty hot in here, Commander. I'm generating a lot of heat. And was it directed with a Ready long term inferno? Turn 19. Hmm. Kinda means that we gotta deal with the Jägermack now. Who else is 19? I'm here. Uh, yeah, Bullet Trap has nowhere to go. And nothing to shoot. Oh, wait. He can. Radical Heat Sink Kit? Seems to be active. Okay, can we kill this? Because I wanna go for the Marauder with my bomber. Couldn't quite do it. Uh, that means that means we have to take care of Mr. Jägermack now. Let's go for it. Gonna shoot some missiles. And that should be it, technically. You got. Slide splash on my Marauder. Hostile removed. I'm That's losing armor. Okay. So, ATMs! The Timberwolf wants to get out of the fire. Sadly, we have to jump for it. Uh, uh. Get the high ground. Time to fly. It's fine. We are about to get unsteady, but I hope that that just doesn't happen. Let's go. Roger that. Unbelievable. I, th I thought we could kill this thing now. Uh, Rock Lobster wants to get to the high ground. God, this is so good that we have the mobility of the jump jets now. It makes so much more sense. Yeah, and this is working. Uh, kill. I copy. Missiles are coming in as well. This is beautiful. Way better than before. That's a kill. Yeah, that's a kill. Alright, very good. Good. I copy. Now... Is it time to bring the Ifrit back? We have a left side that we can use. I'll do it. Copy. Let's bring you back in here. Um, that's a direct shot, but with a shaped charge. Firing at him. Right. Turn 15 is sadly the turn of the Marauder, so he's gonna go for something. Let's see what it is. Devastators. Yeah, they don't like getting uh, overheated by plasma, melting their armor away. Damage on that hit. It's not good. But it works, still. Commander. Okay, so 12% chance on the pirate engine. I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna turn the other things on, hoping that we have enough mobility to finally get a melee attack out. I don't even care if it's gonna be charge attack. Maybe I should care. 
I should really care about that. Because I don't want to get some return damage. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Later! Later, later. Not yet. Jump here. Uh, okay. Got it, Commander. Say hello to... I don't know... This? The shot. His accuracy, his gunnery accuracy is just so low. And uh, we are getting uh, unsteady. It's not good. That is good. Moving fast. Direct fire, inferno shot. Ah, deviated big time. Still, there was some heat distributed. Oh, it's on now. Okay. So, <laughs> what a weird game. I gotta say, this is just eh, not what I expected of my king crab. It has not even punched anything yet. Bring the bomber in there. Understood. Moving fast. So we're gonna go for the backliner now. Do you have AMS? Roger. Hit him hard. All right. Commander. Yearn. Roger. Yearn on the Marauder. If possible, I would go for offensive push, but I can't. Whenever I'm using my little guys, it's mostly uh, either I finish somebody or I'm going to attack a target of opportunity, which is perfectly fine. We got another headshot out. That's the cool thing about tiny instances of damage. We shoot so many weapon systems here that some of them might find the way to the cockpit. 23. It's Griffin time, but I don't think they're going to do a lot. Everything's on fire here. Unexpected. All right. We'll take it. What is it already? Nothing. Race. Over and out. All right. Griffin number two. It's pretty good. Long times have no repair costs unless they are completely destroyed. Ah, sorry for the janky camera. I'm sorry. This is just the game lagging big time. I'm trying to do my best. Oh. Oh. Oh wait. No. But the pinchy. I'm steady now. Talk to me. You will regret that. From the front or from the back? I think we're gonna take the back. It requires a jump though. What? Really? Confirmed. I mean, it's gonna be a kill anyway, right? It is not. Interesting. Take that as a lesson. That is excessive heat. I didn't down. expect that much, to be honest. But it's fine. Um, that's a knockdown at the very least. Maybe even a kill. There's the knock. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. So now his initiative is 11. We can deal with that. Left side twist important. Confirmed. All right. Here we go. Side tools are destroyed, and he is massively overheating. Yeah, this guy is not gonna do anything anymore. Yes. Commander. Okay. 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 Um. Standing by. Where's my pinchy dude? Gotta jump in order to get line of sight again. Alright, go for the, the Thunderbolt again. I want to go for the backliner, so Pinchy can actually do something. I know, it's not optimal. This mech is a hundred ton. It's, it's a hunk of a hundred ton that doesn't do anything right now, except for absorbing a bit of damage. Let's go incendiary. Yes, but also vigilant. I'm black on AC-5 ammo. Good to go. Ethan, ATMs. There's a backstrike somewhere. I just need to find it. Maybe not. Alright, let's go down here then. Moving fast. And... 
start dealing damage to the Griffon with high explosives. Absolutely. Right, Commander. That's not enough. Orders. Hero, would you please do me the favor of following up? Kill that. Affirmative. If you're wondering why I'm not gonna go for the Marauder that's clearly lying on the ground, it's because Mr. Pinchy wants to do a thing. Oh wait, actually, I can only kick this guy, right, when he's on the ground. Ready for orders. Huh. Um. Let's go and kill this then. That is not a kill. Eh? Come on. No punch out. I'm receiving you. Crazy. All right, so we have a two percent chance to fail. Don't fail me. All right, we're fine. Can only move, not sprint, but that's all we need to do because now it's pinching time. Right? Right? There we go. Okay. Okay, we want to go for somebody who is technically fresh. And we're gonna go for a punch. Ooh, and we can even shoot our IATMs. That's really nice. Let's go and attack. 99% chance to hit. 400 damage coming your way. Plus the mech lands, technically? Maybe not, because we use our fists to punch. No, there it is. Three hits, or three attacks from the Maglands. We hit cockpit again. Was it worth it? I like it. You gotta give me that. It's not efficient, not at all, but it's fun. So, I'd say we're gonna wrap up this fight and then we're gonna go and pick some good things. Let's get this done, team. Alright. Yep. Gotta move. Moving out. Over here. Uh, there's one AGM, there's one Hellfire. I don't Riding care. It's Let's really just about finishing the job at this point. Uh, Popo with the rocks. Take him. Precision, precision. Uh, fire it up. I really think that our uh, rock lobster is just so much better now with the rebuild. The, the amount of mobility that we granted this thing is just over 9,000 now. Which made so much sense. Uh, yeah, you are 12. So we're gonna go down the initiative order, so we don't have to fight anybody anymore. Well, let's say that nobody shoots back anymore. Good. Jamie, radical heatsink kid is a little bit crying out. So we move. Affirmative. And we shoot. Let's go inferno on this guy. I want to see if I can crit him, instead of destroying this whole thing. Well, I guess that settles it. Okay. Good mission. I need... more opportunities to get Pinchy into the fight. Would I put him all the way to the front? Just... I, I, hmm. I don't want, I really don't want him on the front alone. He has a massive amount of mobility. But I don't want to dispatch him from the team too much, so that everybody is gonna shoot this guy, right? Especially when I'm gonna do some, like, get into position jump moves, and then maybe racking up some stability problems, and enemies will actually get that one high explosive shot out, loss of stability damage is floating around. We get unsteady, no evasion anymore, bam, King Crab dead. That's a thing that I don't want. So I need to figure out a way to get there where I want to be. You want Shieldron, I get peep? I accept. I'm not here for a Shieldron anyway. There's another C3 Master. Okay. There's another Plasma Cannon. Alright. Uh, Inferno Long Term, no. Plasma Ammo. I could need a little bit more for the Battle Master. Artemis is fine. MRM save, shield run. What's the shield run worth? Not a lot. So I don't even care about that thing. Lots of peeps. Alright. Everything is jumbled up like crazy here. 
I will take a look at the mechs in a second. I quickly want to skim through, though. All right. The first thing to consider is the Pirate King Crab. It comes with the Intimidating perk. Ah. Ah, they changed that. Uh, I think it was... Before, in one of the former patches, it was neg negative resolve gain. This is now more chance to panic. That's good. Comes with composite, comes with the FCS Kraken. I mean... I mean, what? You say you, you have plus two accuracy with auto cannons and rifles and negative three recoil and negative 15% heat generated, but only one ballistic hard point. There's something innately wrong with this list. I don't think this checks out. I, I need to check this. Pirate Radical. Cool. It's broken, but cool. You have a Rock 2 Pirate here on, on this right arm. Keep that in mind. PPC. Left arm also was a Rock 2 Pirate. You have more than one Ballistic, buddy. I want it. I, I probably cannot take it, though. Not in one piece. Not as it is, right? So close, man. So damn close. So we have to pick parts, which is fine. Um, then the Super Griffin. We headshot this guy. Proto Heat Sink Kit. Mm, that's money. Also a viable thing to take. Also has a Vibro Sword. Not bad. I'm gonna disassemble you, my friend. Okay. The, 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 the Heat Sink Kit is actually quite interesting. Uh, the Mauler, we'll check that out. Also, we headshot this guy. Crazy. That's a double... Do I want to add all of this to the loot table? I don't think so, no. The Jager mech. Side torso destruction. Nah, I don't care. So, the King Crab will be disassembled. Kinda wanna get these parts, because... Check it out again. You got eight ballistic... I mean... This is the Rock Lobster. That's the guy, right? If anything, that's the guy. Yes. How do I build it? Do I have parts for it? I have three parts of a Kaiju, so two parts of the Lobster, and then another one? And uh, we can build it. It's sad that we don't get the Kaiju then, but it's possible. Command, make evasion, ignore gunnery. It's not even that good for a sniper mech. I want this. I want to transfer the build. I don't know how much it's going to cost, but I want it so bad. I know that the proto heat sink kit is massive money, but this is better. Let's go. We get three parts! Yes. Yes, this is the idea that I wanted to bring to life. Just that. And it's intimidating as well. All right, pretty cool. Uh, we didn't sadly get the <clears throat> other thing randomly, the Proto Double Heat Sink Kit, but we got three parts of this King Crab, that means we can build. You know what? Still got some time, so let's go and build. It's gonna cost me an arm and a leg, I know. But it might be worth it. It might be worth it. Could you think about the Risk Rocks? They usually tend to be very hard to get under control when it comes to recoil, but this guy has an innate three recoil reduction. Plus one from focus fire, plus one from uh, military or ex-military background. It's five already. Upper recoil, lower recoil. You are fine. You can shoot the risk rack fives every day, all day. And the problem with the risk racks is they are hotter and we have that 50% reduction. But we don't have is a jam chance reduction. But hey, gunnery helps. Okay. Okay. I like that. I feel like I dropped the kaiju for this rock dude, and then I don't know what to do with the other king crab. It's gonna be crabland, man. This is great. <laughs> Holy crap. Literally. Still have the night star here, which is very, very sad. I know. Okay, let's build it. Pirate King Crab. I'm not even looking at the kaiju. Goodbye. So, fingers crossed that this guy also comes with an engine and stuff. Let's see. There's a chance. Pirate King Crab. It looks pretty broken. But the fire control system is innate, so it's... Uh, oh god. 
Did I say pretty broken? This is a heap of garbage. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, so again, Kraken Cockpit is all I care about. Two accuracy is absolutely fantastic. Uh, <laughs> it has four ballistics on one arm and then two on the other. That's all we need. And then we have two on the shoulder even. What a wacky mech. Sadly, no engine. The pirate engine would have been a great money pick for us. We would have sold it. The pirate heatsink kit would have been great. Alright guys, we're gonna build something out of that guy. It's gonna cost us an arm and a leg. But it's gonna be... It's gonna be there on the battlefield at some point. Yeah, good. I'd say, you know what? Let's make a cut here for today. We achieved everything we wanted. I hope you enjoyed the episode. As always, if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out as a content creator. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.